Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for today's Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bending stresses. In this lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem about the tensile and compressive stresses due to the bending in the beam. So the problem states: the determine the maximum tensile and compressive stresses due to bending. So this is the cantilever beam of length 8 meter is given to us, which is only one fixed support. This is the property of the cantilever beam. And this beam is subjected to the uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter. And this is the cross section of the beam, which is a rectangular beam. The width of 300 mm and the height of 500 mm is given to us. And we have to find the tensile and compressive stresses in this beam, the maximum tensile. So, how to find out these tensile and compressive stresses? Basically, the, in beam, there is mostly the bending stresses because of the load. Due to this load, the beam will show deflection and this beam will show deflection like in this way. There will be no deflection here at this point because of the fixed support and it will show the maximum deflection here at this support at the free end, sigma maximum. So due to this load, we have a deflection and we will have bending stresses in this beam. So how to find these bending stresses? We can find out these bending stresses by using this formula, which is mc over i. This formula is used to find out the bending or the flexure stresses in any type of the beam. So this M shows the bending moment where you want to find out the stresses, bending stresses. And C is the neutral axis distance. Neutral axis distance. It is the distance from the neutral axis of the beam to the top of the beam, we call it C1, or to the bottom of the beam, we call it C2. So this distance is always from the center of the beam either to the top of the beam or either to the beam of the beam. This is also called C, this is also called C. So while the I is called is the moment of inertia of the beam, moment of inertia. So it depends upon the geometry of the object. So we have to find the bending stresses that is the tensile and compressive stresses. The bending stresses is two types. One is the compressive stresses. And one is the tensile stresses. So to find out the compressor, we will represent it by sigma C equal to MC over I, while the tensile stress is equal to sigma T is equal to the minus of sigma C or minus of MC over I. Because these two stresses have the same magnitude but have different sign. So sigma t is equal to the minus of sigma c or equal to the minus of mc or i. So by knowing the moment value and c and i value, we can find out the compressor and tensile stresses at any point. Now the question is to find out the maximum tensile stresses. For this, we have to find out the maximum bending moment because the sigma maximum means that we will have the maximum bending moment. If the moment is maximum, so we will have the maximum sigma. So this stresses depends upon the moment. So to find out the maximum tensile stresses or the compressive stresses, we will have to find out the maximum bending moment. So this formula will be comes out to be sigma maximum compressive stresses. So sigma maximum C will be equal to the maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So this is the formula to find out the maximum compressor stresses. Now we need the maximum bending moment. So to draw the bending moment of this diagram, we know that the 3 kN per meter is the uniform distributed load and it is distributed over 8 meter. So 3 into 8, it comes out to 24 kN. So this will be the support reactions at A point or A comes out to be 24 kN because this all load will be resisted by this support. Now to draw the shear force diagram, we will have to find out the reference line. This is 24 kN, so it will move upward 24 and then it will come down again and it will be zero here because there is no support reactions provided. So zero kN will be here shear force and 12, 12, 24 kN is the value of shear force at this point. So this is the shear force diagram. Similarly, to find out the bending moment, 
it will be zero zero reference line and it will show the bend, negative bending moment because in cantilever beam we always have negative bending moment at this A support so it will show negative bending moment of the area of the shear force so the area of the shear force is is a triangular so we can find the area of this shear force is half base base is let's suppose this distance is 8 this is 8 meter shear force with the length of 8 meter and the height is 24 so by multiplying this value we get the 96 kilonewton meter so this area is, is, is basically the bending moment diagram so we have bending moment of 96 kilonewton here at this point because we know that the maximum bending moment will be at the support A because this is a fixed support and it can take all the moment of the beam it is a cantilever beam so the maximum bending moment would, will always be at the support so we will have a maximum bending moment of 96 kilonewton meter how you find out by the area of the shear force the area of the shear force is a half base into height base is 8 here in this case while the height is 24 which is the load so we find out the bending moment equal to 96 kilonewton meter so this bending moment is the maximum bending moment of for this plane so putting here maximum bending moment is 96 multiplying it with the c c in this case is the half of the h by 2 it means the half of h comes out to be 500 meter so it is comes out to be 250 millimeter or we can say 0.25 meter and I moment of inertia of this beam which is a rectangular beam will be bh2 by 12 b is 0.3 meter which is 500 millimeter or 0.5 meter cube divided by 12 so we get moment of inertia of 0.00312 square meter so plugging this value here So we will find out the maximum compressor stresses which comes out to be 796 seven, 692 kN per square meter. So to make it megapascal so it will divide it by 1000 so it will become 7.692 megapascal. Now this is the maximum compressor stresses the maximum tensile stresses is the negative of the of the compressor stresses so sigma t will be equal to minus of sigma c or the minus of 7.692 megapascal so this is the compressor and tensile stresses which is the maximum compressor and tensile stresses in the cantilever beam because the we have maximum bending moment you can find out the tensile and compressor stresses at any point in the beam if you want let's suppose you want to find out the bending moment here at this point the tensile stresses at this point so you have to find out the bending moment here at this value from this suppose it is 5 meter so you have to find out the stresses at 5 meter so you have to find out the bending moment here at 5 meter from this distance from the lift, lift end and you will find out the bending moment putting this bending moment here in this equation and the value of C and I you will find out the tensile and compressor stresses at a distance of 5 meters from the lift end. So this is the way how to find out the compressor and tensile stresses and the beam, every type of beam, maybe cantilever or the simply supported beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.